my name is Morgan and welcome back to another video. So I'm not going to lie, I've had this stuff for a little while and I haven't done a video over it, I just haven't had time. But we've got a Funko Pop haul for y'all today. These were from Valentine's Day. So I got these two and I got something else. And then we got this. I'm going to take uh, some advice from a previous commenter and do this a different way. So we got a score bunny and a sobble. I have not played the game with these guys yet. On the back of our score bunny, I have the, a Glaceon and an Arcanine. I think I have the Glaceon already. And on the back of the Sobble is an Umbreon and an Egg Palm. According to GameStop, the Umbreon is not out yet. But anyways, let's open these guys first and take a look. Oh, Sword Bunny is actually on the stand. Okay. Cool. So I'm not actually going to take this. Actually, why not? I might as well. So on the bottom of Score Bunny's feet, you have the little stand, the peg holes for the stand. So he can stand up because regularly he doesn't stand up very well. So um, this is what our Score Bunny looks like. The Score Bunny is in pretty good shape itself. It has the, I haven't played this game yet, so I'm kind of falling behind on the Pokemon games, honestly. So it's got the little thing on the face and then on the bottom of the foot. But again, I'm like behind on the Pokemon games. So, um, yeah. But I have to have all the Pokemon Funko Pops. That's how I feel about it. I like the Score Bunny. I mean, there might be a little imperfection in the eye. No, I just got that to go away. But for the most part, I mean, it's in really good shape. I mean, sometimes you get Pops where people have opened them before buying them. Or they don't, but they just open them and don't buy them. And it has the Fire Emblem. Fire Energy Emblem, of course, in the back of the box. And I don't know why I always have trouble putting these back in. But we do it, we're do it. we doing it upside down like somebody recommended to me. The box is actually in really, really good shape. They had just gotten a shipment of these in. So, lucky me. Here is the Sobble. I kind of miss the older Pokemon ones. Like the Pipla and like the, the, the ones that were, I don't know how to describe it. The ones before all this. So... Pipla, Totodile, um, Cyndaquil, Torchic, just the ones like that. I'm trying to keep an eye on the dogs. One of them's falling, the cookies is falling asleep. So here is the Sobble. I mean, I like um, Poplio, but it's still not the same thing. And the same with Snivy and uh, Technic. But you think they'd make some of the other ones first, like Cyndaquil, before they made these starters. But here is our Sobble. Good shape. It's got a little thing on the back of the tail. I don't know what that is. But it's got the little nose holes for its nose. And it looks just kind of reminds me of a frog, let's be real. But here it is. Our Sobble. The box is in good shape. Again, they had like, gotten a shipment, and we were like one of the first ones there. So I'd call it luck, let's be real that we were able to get it. And now, if I could get it back in the box, that would be even better. How does this thing go in the box? There we go. Got the water emblem, of course. So, I'm using... Let me try to get this back. I'm usually not a big fan of Star Wars, but these Valentine's Pops, I really like. I don't care for the pink ones at all. Honestly, let's be real. But I do like the chocolate ones and there was this and the uh nightmare before christmas so i had to have to get a pair of scissors and deal with the dogs i don't mean that in a bad way they just have their moments and that was one of those moments sometimes they get along sometimes it's like wishing on a star that they get along you don't always get what you want but I don't really care for the Star Wars ones. What did I do to this box? But, oh my god, they're minis! So I thought they were more pocket pops. I think they might be more on the pocket pop size. But I can't tell if they're really on the pocket pop size or if they're on, they, they're not on the really, really miniature size. Oh, I forgot. Anything that is a Star Wars related, Marvel related is a bobblehead. So we have Luke, we have Darth Vader, Dark Chocolate, 
Let's be real. We have Leia. And we have Han Solo. I have, what is wrong with his head? Why is it twisting like that? Do the others twist like that? No, they don't twist like that. So why does his head twist all the way around? Okay, so this one is a bust on that. He is a bust. I don't know what happened to his head. Compared to them, they are actually bobbleheads. Oh, well, her head turns too in an awkward way. But I like these. I like the chocolate look. I'm not going to lie. That's honestly why I had to have them is because of the whole chocolate look with the wrapper and the hearts on it. So honestly, I, I had to get it because of that. They had the marble ones, but they were pink and they were not chocolate. So I really, honestly, let's be real, I did not care for those. All right. Put that back in here so I don't lose them because they don't come really in a box. Oh, I forgot to put this back on. All right, let's put you back on. Um, it went the wrong way. There we go. Put that back on. And now let's do the Nightmare Before Christmas pack. I had to have this because of zero. And I actually have the size, the real size um, Jack and Sally in chocolate form. So uh, why not? And it had zero. So that was really the biggest reason why I had to have it. It had zero in it. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. There it is. And let's take that plastic off. Oh no! Oh gosh, that hurts. So these are not bobbleheads because they are Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. So we have Jack Skellington. Okay, I made them fall. My bad. We have Sally. And, this, and these look just like the regular Funko Pops that I have. Despite that, they are the mini size. We have Oogie Boogie, which I think this is funny how they did the wrapper. They don't even show all of him. They show half of his face. Same with the bat. I think that's awesome that they did it that way. And he's all pink. I think that's hilarious. And my favorite, last but not least, we have Zero in chocolate form. So I have Zero the dog in here too, my actual dog, Zero. And the Zero Funko Pop is on my wall too. But we have the chocolate form Zero. I love this. This is really why I wanted it, because of the chocolate Zero. Mm, let's just be real. That's the only reason. Honestly, that is like the only reason that I got it. If I'm going to be honest. It was because of Zero. I mean, I like them. Don't get me wrong, but it had Zero in it. So, I mean, come on, man. I had to have Zero, because I have the regular Zero anyways. But anyways, that is our Funko Pop haul for today. The Sobble and the Score Bunny from Pokemon. The Nightmare Before Christmas and the Star Wars Pocket Pop. Valentine's Day set. I love them. But anyways, that's it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. We got a lot of changes coming. But anyways, we'll get to deal with that later. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as usual, you guys, I'll see you guys next time in the next video. See you guys later.